Hey guys, my good friend Zane stopped by from NorCal today. You may have yeah. seen him in some of my older uh, videos. We had a little bit of time, so just for old time's sake, we decided to just do a quick workout and film it for you guys. Now this workout is one that I do fairly often, sometimes once a week, and it involves thrusters, which is basically a front squat to a push press and then repeat. I like to do this kind of workout when I'm short on time and I just want to get in and out of the gym. It's something that I can do. It hits the whole body and it goes by pretty quickly. This workout lasts exactly 20 uh, minutes, and if you give yourself about 10 like minutes to warm up and cool down, you can be in and out of the gym in about 30, 40 minutes. So the first yeah. thing you do is you clean the bar up from the floor. Now, if you don't know how to clean, I have an older video that shows you how to do that. You can click here to watch it. Excess motions. It's a fast motion. Or another thing you can do if you don't know how to clean is to keep the bar in the squat rack, bring it out, and then do your thrusters, and then re-rack after each set. That does make the workout a little easier, too. So the way the thruster works, you're going to start with the bar in the front rack position, either cleaned from the floor or picked up from the squat rack, with your feet approximately shoulder width and your hands a little outside that. The first part is just a front squat. Your feet should remain flat with your heels rested firmly on the ground. Keep your hands loose and the bar should be resting on your shoulders right over the center of your foot. At the bottom your hips should be equal to or below your knees. Don't worry if your knees go past your feet. As long as your heels are on the ground and the middle of your thigh is right over the middle of your foot. Now make sure you keep your back completely straight. A lot of people will tend to round out their lower back at the bottom of their front squat especially when the weight gets heavier. So make sure you keep it straight and use a weight that's light enough for you to keep good form. Lastly remember to keep your elbows up and your head up. Not having a death grip on the bar will help keep your elbows high and keep your back straight. From here, just keep your chest up and your head up and stand up with your feet flat on the floor. At the top, your hands should still be loose and open and the bar should be resting high up on your shoulders close to your throat and your elbows are still high. Your elbows need to stay high throughout the entire motion. At the top, they should form a 90 degree angle with the rest of your body. Basically, the bar should be resting on your shoulders. You shouldn't be holding the bar up with your hands at any point. It needs to be as if your hands weren't even there. So if you were to stretch your hands straight out with your arms straight out, where the bar would rest is where the bar needs to be with your hands on the bar. So with the front squat portion aside, the push press portion of the thruster, you're actually using the force from your shoulders to start the momentum up. And you're not using your arms to really press until the bar starts to rise already. The initial force up is really through your shoulders when the bar is resting on your shoulders. Remember, elbows high, bar on your shoulders. Speed up as you come to the top of your front squat. Launch it up from your shoulders, then follow it up with your hands underneath it and press out. The last thing to remember is at the top of your press, put your head through. It really forces you to lock out the rep, making sure you complete the rep fully and it really hits your shoulders. Now one thing that I find that really helps with these, especially if you're doing a lot of reps, is non-elastic wrist wraps. I like these Velcro ones. Even if your form is good and especially if your form is bad, your wrist can take a beating from this, so I like to wrap them up so that it doesn't hurt my wrist. These non-elastic ones are nice because I don't have to wrap and then unwrap, which takes time. I can just cinch it over and lock it down and then when I'm done, I can just loosen it real fast. So really practice this motion with the lighter weight. Film yourself, have a person watching, make sure you have your good form down before you try to work this into this workout. Now the workout here that I'm doing is I'm keeping a running clock for 20 minutes and at the top of every minute, every single minute, I do a certain number of reps. Here I'm going to be doing 5 at 135 pounds and Zane's going to be doing 3 reps at 135 pounds every minute. Pick a weight and a rep number that's reasonable and doable because what's going to happen here is at the beginning it's going to be relatively easy and after 10 or 11 minutes it's going to start getting harder and harder and at the end of your workout you're going to be struggling to finish. I like these timed workouts a lot and that's what I've been doing a lot of lately because it really hits your endurance and it also hits your muscles decently. I mean you're not going to get like bodybuilding huge from these but you know it's a good overall fitness type of thing. So for a lot of you I would suggest you know start with your front squat and then work your way to the thruster. Practice your form. Uh, you can always play with the reps, play with the weights. Pick a weight, pick a rep, something that you're comfortable with and then if it was too easy you can go up from there. Again, make sure your form is good before you try to work this into a circuit like this and make sure you pick a weight that's manageable. So let me know if this is the type of videos that you guys want to see. You know, I see your comments about seeing more workout videos and stuff and I don't know if this is the type of video you're talking about or if this is a little bit too boring. So go ahead and try it. Give me some feedback. Let me know how it goes. And again, I really appreciate all of you guys continuing to support me. I really appreciate all of you guys that leave me comments. Thank you for interacting with me again and I'll see you guys soon. I feel Zane. <laughs> like I always do when I work out with you, dude. <laughs> Dead. <laughs>